So here's the harsh truth. A lot of dancers are absolutely not authentic and faking it all the time. But the real question is that, are you faking it? Are you really authentic? You know the call, it's Monday and we are ready to slap some bullshit. Hello creative souls, welcome to this sanctuary where you can transform your dance and soul and speak your authentic voice. I am Chandini, I am a dancer and a mindset coach and I lead dancers to really own their truth and really manifest their ideal dance career and life. So if you are new here and if you want to know more about my work, I invite you to check on the description below. There is the link to my Instagram. This is where everything is happening. And right now I have a self-learning program that's going on that's called Hypnotic on Stage. So if you're struggling to really be authentic on stage, on the stage as your sanctuary and just be pressureless and don't give a F and just pack your luggage and go dance like you own the world, this program is for you so i just don't want to ramble too much i want to get right now so fast in that topic are you really authentic in your dance right now and i'm really asking you to be really 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 honest with yourself there is no wrong or right answer but you need to know the answer like that you can know what to do next so i'm asking you again are you really authentic right now in your dance? On a scale on 0 to 10, how sure you are that you are authentic in your dance? This video is going to shake you and get ready for that because this is a really serious conversation because for me it's the base, the foundation of anything I have done in my dance. It's like you cannot build a castle if the foundations are not solid, they are just shaky. At the first big wind, everything is just going to collapse. So the foundation of your dance is your authenticity. So what do I mean by authenticity? Let's just define some words. For me, it's really like your self-expression, how you express yourself. That's your authenticity. That's your truth in dance. It's about also how you emotionally connect with your audience. And there you see like so much dancer, maybe you know some of them, they always take only joyful song because like, yeah, it's more easy, just like happy vibes. So I don't have to show myself. I don't have to engage in something too much deep, heavy and emotional because that's more complicated. So are you doing that right now? <laughs> I'm not saying like you should not dance on joyful song, but you know what I mean. When you have to bring a more deep topic, it can even be love or it can be just a sadness or anger, whatever. You have to show yourself to connect emotionally when a lot of people misconception totally is joyful song. Like just, oh, you just have to smile and be happy and like, eh. No, <laughs> really, no, that's not what it is. So how... How you capable to connect with your audience? How much of your emotion are you capable to make? Because that's even related for video, you know? And most of it, what is authenticity in your dance? It's your identity. What's your identity right now? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I will even say. And more shaking question is like, who are you right now? Is really your ideal version of yourself? And again, disclaimer right away, it's not to judge yourself. It's not to blame yourself of not being good enough or whatever. I'm just asking you, the identity, the identity you have linked yourself with right now, whatever it's your past experience, what you're experiencing right now, or how things go for you, is that your ideal identity? That's my question. For example, for me, I will always have the assumption that people never get me. They don't understand me. They always judge me, you know, because that's what I was experiencing before. But why I experienced that? It's another topic for another time. But let's say that just casually. I always get judged. I don't get understand. So I feel very lonely and blah, 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 blah. So I got attached to that identity of I am. I am not understood. I am not supported. I am always alone. I am not understood. You see, all of that, it's an identity. When you say I am, <laughs> this is an identity. And if now 
that's what I did. I asked myself, is that your ideal identity? No. My ideal identity is like, I am always supported. Everyone likes me. Everyone understands me. Everyone catch me. Everyone value me. Everyone appreciate me. That's my ideal identity. So you see, here we have a gap. So that's what I'm saying. Before even talking about identity on stage and authenticity, how can you be authentic if you first don't know your identity? And then once you know what's your identity, you get aware of that. Is that the identity you want to stick all your life with? And if the answer is no, then that's making a new truth for your dance. And that's making a new authenticity. Do you follow me till now? <laughs> I hope you get me. Otherwise, if you have any question, always feel free to drop in the comment. I will answer and I can even make another video to explain that. But what I want you to catch right now is what's your truth. And the truth you are experiencing right now is just one truth among billions of what is possible to you. And the big problem, the issue, because we are not being taught all of that and it took me so much years to stumble into this knowledge, is that the truth of you today it's just a story. It's just a story you are attached to because it looks solid to you. This reality again, it looks so solid to you, but it's not. It's just one among millions and billions, you know? So once you change your identity about everything works in my favor, I am the best dancer, uh, I am loved for who I am, stuff like that. You change your identity from, oh, no one understands me, nya, nya, nya. it's hard, it's so difficult, people judge me too. I'm so fucking badass. Everyone support me. And even if they don't, do shit. <laughs> you know? So this is where, and when you are at this level of identity, then it's giving a new truth of your authenticity. Because right now, let's say, let's be a very practical example in dance. Right now, you maybe think you're authentic on stage because you love dance, you love that music, and you are dancing on your best on this song. Yeah, okay, get you. But if once you're stepping on stage, you still have these thoughts of, are they going to like it? They are going to judge me. Oh, I know that some people are not, they won't like it. Or some other peers or mentors, they will criticize that because I know I'm a little out of the box. But in the same time, you are not going fully out of the box. You get me? So that's the truth right now, based on your authenticity right now, because your identity right now is being judged, being uh, not understood, is being not successful like you want, is being struggling against the world. Do you get me? So my real question here is that, what authenticity do you want? The one link to your ideal identity of, I own who I am, the stage is my sanctuary, no matter what, this is what I want to dance, this is who I am, and I'm putting myself, my identity, my personality in this choreo, this dance, whatever. Or are you operating your authenticity from, anyways, I'm not understood, anyways, I wish to do that, but I cannot do that because I can't, because this, and thousands of excuses. So, now, there is three options. Either you know completely you are faking it, and when I mean faking it, it's like you just don't dare to be yourself because you are so scared to be judged, or it's just like you you just don't even allow yourself actually. That's that's the point. You don't allow yourself to do what you want. And I have been there at the very beginning of my career when I was in belly dance, and I started to disconnect. I could not resonate with it anymore. It was like yeah, I love the moves, but the music. Pff, I could not relate to that. I needed, I, st I will really tell you sincerely. And it just, it's not a judgment on belly dance. It's how I felt with belly dance because it was not how it was. It was not my authenticity, you know? This is where the disconnection started to happen. Before, I I didn't even know I have authenticity problem because it was too much always on that feminine, yeah, like that. So, so fluid, so, so, you can say sexy. I don't know. It's not even sexy the world. It's so much too much feminine energy let's say and again it's not gender related just too much when i wanted something like bold i wanted something more manly you know more than in that energy this is where i just transitioned to south indian dance because i could find there that boldness i was looking for that very more uh, manly i don't want to say manly i want to say masculine energy you get me okay let's not make confusion here okay so that's why my authenticity was that mix between, yeah, I love the sexy, I love the, this item style, and also I love the free, the feminine, but it's not my 
only energy. I have different type of energy and vibes with which I truly do that. It's like my multi face. This is how I am. This is who I am. So <laughs> that's it. Okay. So it's like you see me. I in 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 life. I mean, I am so kind. I really care about people, about my loved one. I could do anything for them. And at the same time, I have that bold and rude way of talking about because this is if I believe in something, I just go very harsh to you. That's why I. Spend my time breaking some bullshit, you know, and I even use it with my bad language as TikTok is keep banning, but who cares? It's because I have this multiple face in me and that's all of that is my authenticity. So I think I lost the track of what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry for that. All what I mean is that most of the time we don't allow yourself to be that. And at that time, I did not allow myself to be to go there. So I was a belly dancer, but in the side, you know, hidden in the... <laughs> In the shadow, I was starting to learn Indian dance by myself and start to get it. And of course, when I was starting to create, I started to fuse and blend them. And my mentor was saying it like, okay, but okay, so then instead of blending, just do Indian dance. Okay, so I quit <laughs> really dance to do Indian dance. But still, I wanted to put those shimmy, those special movements that aren't really there well in the Indian dance. So this is where all the drama started to happen you know because i was doing fusion and a lot of people doesn't like fusion because they said it's confusion when it was not for me but again this is where i was in the identity of i want to be authentic but i'm not going full in because i know i know i was saying i won't be accepted it will be a problem blah 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 so this is where i was not operating from the pure authenticity it was authentic for who i was at that time but linked to the identity again of i'm not understood so I hope you catch me on that. So that's why you should really investigate of you on your identity and authenticity. What's your truth? What's your truth about that? It's like no one is watching you and it's just about you and you in front of the mirror and just uh, uh, your notebook and your pen and thinking like, okay, what's my truth about dance? What is like, I'm in the most ideal reality. I am in the life of my dreams, crazy dreams. It's like everything is perfect on the world. What's my truth about my dance? What is really what I want to do? If I have all the money, all the time, all the support, what I will be doing? This is the only question you should ask yourself. This is why all my coaching and all my even self running program start with your self investigation, start with your own audit, because that's the foundation. And you can try to build the upstairs without the foundation, but at one moment it will collapse. And this is how you do the roller coaster. And that's not what I want for you. When I coach you, I really want you to push you in the right way and you stay in the path. I don't want to see you coming back. No way. You just keep going. I don't care at what speed and whatever you face on the way. I just want to see you keep going on that path and not getting out and not coming back and nothing. This is why this, this work is so much important. But it's also very uncomfortable because you have to look at yourself and really say the truth to yourself. Like you can lie to the entire world if you want, but... When are you going to stop to lie to yourself? That is where the shit is going to happen. This is where everything starts. So just some sign to help you. Like, are you faking it right now? <laughs> are you not in your authentic? <laughs> so, for example, if you're the type of dancer very obsessed with techniques and like focusing mostly on technique rather than emotion and all the stuff, that may be a distraction for you for not looking at the emotion and what you really want to do and just you know put the beautiful glitter of the technical moves because of course we are dancers we love techniques of course we love to perfect our techniques that's normal but if it's become really much an obsession that is like it's your escaping way to don't look at the other stuff you should be looking at also if you struggle then to bring emotion in your uh, dance if you feel like you're a little again too much in technical and not really bringing your emotion or just holding back from really bringing what you want in emotion you may be looking at it. Also, if you feel uninspired often, disclaimer, it's normal time to time to feel uninspired. There is some days I know this is not the day to create because I'm not in that vibration, I'm not in that frequency. And it just means like this day, for example, I need a proper rest or I need to focus on something else. So that's perfectly normal. But if you find yourself often uninspired and if you're always wondering what the fuck I'm gonna create, what the fuck I'm gonna dance, we have a problem. 
if you when you go on stage you go on video and whatever project you are making if one of your most thought is about oh i hope people will like it i have to impress people i have to get validation blah 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 you are absolutely not operating from authenticity you are operating from what the outside of me is gonna say and who cares about the outside of you again it's just a mirror of your internal world so this this is a pure example of if when you are posting, if when you are making your video, if when you are creating your choreo or may even choosing your costume, if you are thinking, oh my gosh, what people are going to say, we have a problem. Yeah, you have to. And if that is dragging you on the way, we have to stop that. Oh, that is the problem. Uh, if you find yourself copying a lot, so <laughs> I, I will be bold and rude here. Like I could never mingle with copying people and i think like i don't even want to change that mindset i don't even want to talk to them <laughs> sorry so i hope you are not these people but if you spend all your time copying all the choreo of everything just leave that channel <laughs> i don't want to talk to you <laughs> so just sorry but i i have seen that so much especially in indian dance like i know the movie is trending i know the choreo is trending and everyone wants to do it okay you do it once for fun but in your video on your instagram to just be a part of the trend okay but just do it okay fine but if the only thing things you can create is copying the choreo and you vomit that on stage all the time then we have a big problem who the fuck are you you that's all you have to know that's all what you are doing and just copying okay sorry <laughs> so when i mean copying it's not about i don't talk about a dancer is making a choreo and give you um the right to perform it because you learned it with them you know th this is something different okay what i mean copying is like you don't know that person or you just took one workshop one time you are not even in contact with that person you are just vomiting their choreo like okay but their choreo is their vibes so not yours so not authentic if you're playing it too safe and you avoid to take in risk that means you are not going full in in your authenticity again so that is something you have to question yourself no i'm always playing like safe so small or do i'm okay to take risk and do something like <laughs> crazy like for example that's what i did when i did my madness series that you can still check on my youtube it's like i was known for belly dance fusion i was known for uh, indian dance especially south indian something joyful colorful and all of a sudden i wear black i use english song and it was sad as fuck and tortured <laughs> <laughs> and this is where I was like, but I didn't want it to do it for any trend or because I saw it somewhere. It was a call when I was listening to this song. It was like an obsession because when I create, I'm very obsessive. <laughs> so it was, I was seeing it. I was seeing all the display in front of my eyes, like a movie. And I was like, I have to do it. I have to do it. And at that time, yeah, of course, I have the doubt for some second of uh, what gonna, people are going to say, especially because my mentor was still there at that time and telling me like, you're going to confuse everyone. Don't do that. Where are you? You are. What the fuck are you doing? She, she really said it in that way. That helped me a lot, but it's okay. So, but I did it because it was my truth about it. And it skyrocked. It was amazing. People love it. And see people are catching those videos and discovering and feel like, wow, it just took me. So when you are yourself, when you are in your truth, in your authenticity, you cannot lie. And sorry, this video is again going long, but this is for your good. <laughs> also, if you feel discomfort and disconnected every time you dance, then you have an authenticity problem. The disconnection is something that I observe a lot in dancers. And the moment you disconnect with your dance mean, okay, there is a lack of authenticity somewhere or you have to evolve or the way you do your dance have to evolve, but something has to change. Because if you're disconnected, it means it's not resonating with you anymore and you have to look at that why. So to close this video, to be authentic, you should first define your identity. And I'm not saying you should know your identity. I'm saying you should define. Why? That could be another hour of video. <laughs> but what you know about you right now is just one truth. Always remember that. You are uh, the creator of your reality. You are the creator of your life with the quantum field. And I'm bringing this topic soon in this channel to really explain you the science behind because you know how much i love science so it's not about who you think you are it's about who you want to be declare it allow yourself to be that really dancer that person in life that you want if now you want to be respected value everything is simple for you you never have to struggle to get money you never have to struggle to create you never have everything is just so perfect in your life you live the unicorn dream if you want to have that identity just fucking do it this is how you're gonna get all what you want 
and stop to spray small. Stop to follow what everyone else is saying. Who cares? They are just a mirror. Change your appearance. The reflection on the mirror change. If I change my 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 suite now, I will see something else in my reality. So it's fine. Nothing is solid. It's like changing dress every day. That's how is your reality, frankly. So really, this is a big video. Maybe a lot of things I have seen. It's deep understanding. So play this video. How much you need to really catch all what I'm saying and. The best way to do it is always to implement so if you have any question any concern please feel free to drop it below please do like comment share if you like my content it always helps my channel to grow and reach out more people that need this message <laughs> so i wish you a very good week and see you soon